everyone, this is Shadow Cub here. This is, uh, we are on the Crystal Island map <coughs> by ISO, and I've been playing ARK for a little while. This is my sort of gamer YouTube debut. A little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, excuse the uh, indecency, this is a brand new game. Uh, we are going to be checking out this map. It's a map that I found out about fairly recently, and I think it's from the screenshots and the couple of videos that I've seen. It's supposed to be a absolutely beautiful map. So really want to check this out. I really want to do a lot of exploring. Um, of course, we'll be doing breeding and a lot of taming. You know, the arc thing. So either to say, let's just run around and find rocks. <laughs> uh, so just randomly chose a stone pot spawn point and um, realized that it is apparently in the redwood biome and I'm a little bit terrified. I'm not going to lie. Um, I know absolutely nothing about the layout of this map and have no idea what direction to go in. So I'm just gonna wander around and hopefully not get killed too much. Um, oh, what is this? Oh wow. This is gonna be a cool map. So a little bit about the author. Um, don't know a whole lot about her, but she was playing Ark for quite a while and she loved the Ragnarok map and decided to have her own hand at map making. Um, she downloaded the dev kit and just taught herself and started messing around and this is her work in progress. I guess it is about 62 or 3 or something percent done. Um, that looks like the beach over there, maybe that's safe. <laughs> So, I think that's pretty incredible. Um, apparently she hadn't even tried making another map prior to this, she just sort of started on this project. Um, she apparently is the only person working on this project. And that, <laughs> that takes a lot of work, I must say. This is freaking beautiful, oh my god. These berries. Definitely don't want to go down there. Wow, the sounds. <laughs> I've been playing on Ragnarok so long and... Uh, you know, I love that map. It's a beautiful map. Um, but one thing that I found that was just so strangely lacking was the lack of the ambient sounds. I don't know if they are working on putting those in or what, but uh, we're down to, what, 1% left to do, supposedly, on the Ragnarok map, and I really do hope they put the ambient sounds in because it is very kind of strange running around with no background noise. <laughs> so I think I'm going to enjoy this map quite a bit. I haven't seen any dinos up here yet, which scares me. I'm waiting for a thyla to just jump down and destroy me. I'm sure that'll happen. Nope. 
sorry. Yeah, let's just go with these. I am running a few modes, um, most notably Structures Plus, because uh, I don't understand how people don't use this anymore, um, or at all. It's just a brilliant, brilliant mod. Uh, I'm also running the reusable mod. It's got the reusable spear, um, what else, bola, uh, grappling hook, and something else, I can't remember. Um, oh, the lasso. It's just helpful because once you've crafted those things 400 times, it just gets annoying. <laughs> Alright, so while we're wandering around, a little bit about me. I've played video games my entire life. I'm 30 years old. Um, it's cool. It's cool. Um, just picked up Ark a couple months ago. Um, hadn't really paid attention to the development. I knew about it you know, early on in the development and just for whatever reason wasn't interested. And, uh, Decided to take a look at it again, and I'm really enjoying the game, I must say. Um, oh god, what was that? Uh, another thing that kind of irks me about the Ragnarok map, there's so many weird water bugs. Oh, get away from me, Piranha. No, no. And 
also like this lack of fish in a lot of the waterways. It just I really hope they fix that or add it. What's that? It's a terror bird. Oh boy. Yeah, that's fine now. Awesome. Hate the room with redwoods. Let's try somewhere else. Um, I don't know. Usually, southern parts are kind of safe. Oh, this looks like beach. Oh, that's probably a good thing. I hope so. Ah, oh, cool. anything terrifying in the water. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Dead. Dead again. Oh god, I hear it. Okay. Just keep running. Oh, you're still coming. Awesome. Go away, Sarko. Go away. I think it stopped. Oof. That was scary. Is that the desert over there? That might be fun to start out with. Oh, it's a titanable. Run! Oh, it didn't see me. Ooh. This is gonna be a fun map. I mean, if there's... If this is the kind of starting beach region. And there's that kind of stuff crawling around. That's pretty awesome. Wow, that was cool. Oh, come here. Be my friend. 
What are you running? Oh, you're running for that. Run away. Run away. Oh man, there's snakes everywhere. Uh. <sighs> oh, coming after me. Awesome. So, I'm so just gonna start looking for a place where I can set up a little bit of a temporary base. Green Dragon. One thing I do know about this map is apparently, not apparently, um, there are 
sort of these wyverns that are exclusive to this map that the uh, mod author has made. And, uh, they're all passive tame, I guess. Um, and you've tamed them by getting crystals from these big crystals that are scattered around. So, also apparently they're not aggressive. So let's go check those out, actually. And since we've dived like three times already, who cares, right? <laughs> so we can look at you. Cool. Wow. Those colors. That's so cool. Alright. Let's go find a place to set up. That's over there. Oh. Yeah, this map is gonna be fun. Charging. Oh, that's another thing about this map. It's got both the Scourge Earth and the Aberration stuff in it you can uh and i guess it's got rock drake somewhere too um and apparently she will be adding uh the extinction stuff when that comes out as well uh, which i just think is great i mean because it is kind of really too bad that you can't use aberration stuff especially especially in ragnarok you need there are a bunch of mods out there where you can kind of get them, but they're all kind of like a little meh. They're all a little buggy. I don't really understand why, but um, but oh, those sharks, yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty neat. Apparently, there's like a big cave where you can find the rock drakes, and um, there are the nameless. I don't know if there's reapers. But, uh, it's probable. So that'll be very interesting to see how she has integrated that.
Oh man, I hope you guys can't hear that. It's really hot here, I gotta have the windows open. And, you know, it's summer and everybody wants to drive down the street at 50 miles an hour. Room, rooms. up a bit of a base and make some clothes. Oops. nice and flat. Not that it matters. I do have foundations of support turned off for structures pause because it's just better. Uh, this is a single player game. It's not on a server. Um, don't have a server yet. That will be something I'll be looking into doing at some point. Um, but not today.
Where's those things? Uh, zombies. Oof. Jeez. Okay. Alright, so... I wasn't really planning on showing you nighttime because usually nighttime is incredibly boring. Um, did a little work on the hut here, but look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> There's fireflies that actually emanate light. Look at this. They kind of flash on the ground. Yeah. Little flowers glow. I mean, <laughs> this is really very incredible. Um, I mean, it's almost to the point where you can actually see, and this isn't without any gamma adjustments. You know, if I bump gamma, I don't know, maybe try... let's try three. <laughs> it's just such a cool map. Look, I may even have little Radiant Starburst effects. <laughs> uh, Alright, we'll come back in the morning. Alright, so it's morning, and I think what I would like to do is find some crystal to make spyglass, and uh, possibly go out and tame something relatively easy. We do have a slingshot here, and a uh, bola. So... See if we can find anything. Let's see if we can find some crystal first that's not in the water. Uh, that one looks like a bit bad. Your raptors, they're so funny. Let's see if we can reach that. We should repair. Oh, I can't wait to get steel weapons, tools. I just hate the stone tools so much. These are harvestable. Yeah, cool. Oh, blue gem. And there it goes. Rough crystal. Ah, crystal wyverns. Wyverns, wyverns, whatever. <laughs> ha! Cool. Alright. Let's uh, regen stem and go grab that one. So we need two normal crystals for uh, spy glass.
try those ones. What level are you, Lindillo? Came up, grab some more stone. Alright, this guy's almost done. The storm's still raging. Should have tamed that one. Oh, where'd he go? Cannot see. Okay. Come on, buddy. Where'd he go? There he is. So, I don't know... I assume that, since we just killed a 150 dillo, that the regular dino cap is probably 150 like Ragnarok, and not 120 like the island, but I suppose we'll find out eventually. So I'm sure the question will come up at some point, what the uh, specs are for this computer. Um, it is a totally custom built computer, I actually built it for uh, 3D rendering. Um, so it's got a heck of a lot of RAM for that purpose. Is there anything terrifying down here? I'm actually going to leave him behind. Um, so it's running um, GeForce GTX. 1080 Ti graphics card, just one of them. Um, frankly, I have yet to find a purpose for getting two. Um, I have tried SLI in the past. It's kind of not noticeable in my opinion. Um, and uh, for 3D rendering, it's completely useless. Um, so I just opted for one. One's fine. Don't need more. Um, it's got. Uh, what is it? The Intel i or Core i9? Yes. I don't remember how many. Uh... Sorry, I don't remember any threads that has. Um, but it's got a lot. Um, 
and 64 gigabytes of memory, if I remember correctly. Uh, which I probably will upgrade at some point. Uh, I'm fun at need to quite yet. It's handling games and it's handling rendering, but that was fine as it is. But I probably will end up needing to upgrade that at some point. Um, no, don't drown. And then aside from that, it's uh, pretty much basic build. It's got a what was the motherboard? Oh, a Tai Chi. Asrock Tai Chi motherboard. Um, huh. uh, Western digital hard drive. Nothing fancy, nothing special. It's not a SSD or anything. It's just a regular hard drive. Um, again, I didn't really find the need to use SSD on this particular computer. It's helpful in my laptop, but because those get bounced around and such more. This doesn't move, so... Uh, but I really like the Tai Chi motherboard. It's fantastic. I've got all the fans hooked up to... Uh, the automatic thermal detection, and it just... It's quiet when it needs to, and it's loud when it needs to, and that's it. It's brilliant. I'm not running uh, water cooling. I've done that in the past. It is a much bigger pain in the ass than it is... <laughs> fans, and frankly, you still have fans on all the radiators, it makes the same amount of noise. <laughs> so I don't really understand the purpose of water cooling. I do have a uh, like a closed system water cooler for the um, processor. And that's it. The uh, 1080 Ti is on two or three turbo fans or whatever. Uh, it's an EVGA if anybody's interested in that. Um, that's about it. Pretty standard. Um, yeah. I do recommend though, if you're ever thinking about building one, go ahead and build it. It's really not difficult. Um, this is the fourth PC I've had. Um, that I built, and it was like cave bubbles, I wonder? Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but it's super easy, it's kind of like a dance Legos, it's not hard at all. Just dive right in there, there's a bunch of articles, tutorials and such. Online. Hopefully are you. Cool, you can make a spyglass. Did I get the engram? Maybe not. Uh, oops. Hey, can't type. There we go. Oh, I did get it. Oops. Good job, guy. Good job. That spit was spot on. <laughs> uh, these more crystals. Alright, I think I've had enough of that. Alright, let's find something somewhat useful to tame. I don't know. Probably can't take on a trike right now. I'll probably just die. That's a cool looking trike over there. Pelagornis. Probably not going to tame any fires right now. Probably could tame a tarragon. I mean, I can't get the saddle yet, but... Um, Pteranodon. But, uh... But I kind of just want to do a lot of footwork around here. 
before we take to the air. But right now, I'd settle for a parasaur. I'd really like an iguanodon, they are my favorite. I think they make absolutely fantastic pack animals, travel animals. They're just... I think they're just underrated. I mean, the fact that they don't drain stamina on all fours is just a little bit OP, maybe. <laughs> but. Oh, what are you guys fighting? Oops. Dilla. Eh, maybe we'll grab another Dilla. Oh, Dillo, you're so silly. Yeah, those are cool. Oh, that's neat. Let's go check that out. Just a hole with a big rock. <laughs> it's pretty neat though. Crystals up here. There's got to be metal around here. Somewhere. Hiding, I bet. Wow, that's a cool looking turn it on. I like that. Alright, well, once we find something like a awesome, like a parasaur, we'll be back. Well, we found it. The mighty, mighty, majestic level 50 parasaur. <laughs> Which we're totally gonna tame. So, <laughs> it'll be. Uh, I hesitate to say useful, but. Somewhat. Oh, uh, hit it in the head with rocks, as we do. Oh boy, might actually end up killing it. No, come back. Oh, I'm so bad at that. Okay. Oh, moving. Good job. <laughs> oh, come on. Just fall over. <gasps> no. Okay. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay. Up 
Hopefully that doesn't take long. How much is that one? Uh, level 25, not worth it. I mean, level 50 is barely worth it, but it's better than nothing. Alright, well, we got our power star teamed up, and we got him saddled, and her, <laughs> and she just needs a name, <laughs> so not too bad for the first day of uh, Crystal Isles, um, and look forward to a nice little sunset, and hopefully um, see you soon, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, if you're interested in future videos, hit subscribe, um, I will be streaming this series on Twitch on 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays. Uh, come check me out over there. Username is ShadowCub7 over there. Uh, so, and there will be a link in the description. There will be a link in the description for the Crystal Isle mod on Steam. And see you later.